Hey you guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I have made some modifications to our plane because we are going to be going on a little adventure. Just We're going to do this one contract here. If I can fit the other one in, I'll do that too. Uh, but essentially we've got some seismic readings to do on the surface of these four sites. And then we also have um, some EVA reports to do on the surface of these three sites. So there's a lot of flying around. I'm going to do them all, but I want to do one of them. Um, I'm going to do only one of them uh, for camera here, and that's going to be this one with four. So where is it? This one right here. So we're going to do seismic readings on the surface of these four sites. I made some modifications for, I'm going to be doing more than this, but I'm only going to just show this this one on the video. Um, the first thing I did is I added some mystery goo experiments to the sides here and here. And I've also added four parachutes here, 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 and here. And these parachutes will help me in the event that I'm unable to land, but I need to get into that area. Uh, I can just deploy the parachutes and come down softly uh, with the chutes. And these chutes are pretty much right over the center of mass. So the idea here is hopefully, if the parachutes are positioned properly, it should come down fairly flat and not on its engine. But in the event that it does come down on its engine, at least I won't die. Like that's the whole point. So behind the parachutes. And then we've got a couple of seismic detectors here and here, or seismic readers here and here, which is what we're gonna be using for this quest here, or for this uh, sort of example. So waypoint manager is on. I don't think I'll need the waypoint manager because they're all kind of showing up here anyway. And they're all right there. So let's go ahead and just kick our engine on. And I'm gonna try to take off from the runway. It's gonna be comically terrible, but I think the way this plane is designed, it might be okay. Like see how rocky that is? It's just terrible. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. All right, piece of cake. This plane actually flies really well. With the stock aerodynamics, of course, not with Ferrum Aerospace, which I still have not installed. Because I'm playing most of these videos you're seeing right now, I'm playing them mostly in the same day. So I, I put about maybe three hours or so into the game today. Because uh, I just wanted to get them done. Uh, now, it looks like two of these are actually on this flat ground, which is really easy to get. So I'm actually going to just kind of go a little bit further back and get the other ones first, because these ones are really easy to get. So, let's go all the way back here. Yeah, so this isn't flat, so landing there is going to be diff more difficult. So what I'm going to do is like this. I'm just going to come over to this and release the chutes. And I'll come all the way up, kill the engine, put myself into a dive. And as soon as I start to fall down, the parachutes will open. Boom. Like that. And I'll kill the engine. No, actually, let's wait on that, because I might be able to use the engine to help keeping myself level. Not really. All right, we'll kill the engine. So we're over the point, like directly over it. And then once we land, we're coming down really soft, which is nice. And I kept it over top of the center of mass. So that's why it's pretty balanced. So we'll just kind of do some time acceleration here. Get this to fall a little bit. Actually, when I first said I'm going to do this mission on camera, or like I was going to do this one for you guys, um, I actually thought that these points were further away, but they're not. All right, we need to reactivate this engine because I need to stop going backwards. And there we go. Okay. Let's, let's put the brakes on. Okay, so we're on the surface. And we need to do the seismic reading from here. So let's just do seismic reading. Make sure it's the right one. Yep, take seismic readings from the surface at alpha site. There we go. So I could go ahead and transmit that. It's the same. Um, does it? Do I have enough battery to do that though? It doesn't look like it. 
I'm actually killing my battery power right now as we speak. So let's turn this off. Let's crank this up. Whoop. Yep, turn ourselves this way. We're gonna travel over here until the uh, until the screen up near the readings here, probably right underneath them, says that we've left one site and we have arrived at the other site. Then we will uh, hit the brakes again and slow ourselves down, which is something I have to do anyway because I am accelerating a little bit too fast for my liking at the moment. Probably could also do the materials bay. Yeah, grasslands, cool. So I can do grasslands experiments. That's gonna be worth. That's gonna be worth something. I don't know if I'm too close or not. I'm just being cautious, hitting the brakes. Cool, and we'll go out and re re reset those when we need to as well. So these parachutes are used now, but that's okay. So I wanted to say we've left one site and we are now entering the other site. So some of these missions are really easy. And you don't need a plane to go do it. I mean, I could have made like a little. Uh, these are close enough. I didn't. I didn't check beforehand. These are close enough to where uh, I could have just made like a little, like a little car and drove out here and did it. Uh, it would have been way cheaper. But since I'm going to recover most of the vessel anyway, minus the parachutes and stuff um, and a little bit of fuel. All right. So we've just entered this new site. So let's just go ahead and do that and see if that satisfied it. It did, yep, that's the Delta site. So now we're gonna turn back this way and we will head towards that marker. And because of a mod, I don't remember which one. Uh, mod list, by the way, for those who play the game, in the link, uh, in the description below. Um, probably just in the description, I don't know if I'm doing links yet. As of recording this video, I haven't actually uploaded any videos at all. So I'm, I'm kind of getting some good progress on this before I upload, just to make sure that the mods themselves are stable enough to where it won't cause a problem down the road. So I don't know if I'm, how I'm doing it, but you can see that the mod actually puts lights on the wheels. You can see when I'm hitting the brakes that way. And at nighttime, the cockpit actually has lights on it too, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we're entering a new site. There we go. Let's get the seismic readings for this. I'll just review the data. Let's transmit it if we can. Did I transmit it? Yeah, I did. Cool. Let's transmit that as well. And the reason why I'm hitting the brakes with the engine up right now is so that I can recharge the battery for transmission. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, otherwise, the, the engine actually charges the battery. 12%. Okay, well it doesn't matter, so let's, let's kill that because I don't want to ruin my, ruin my craft by trying to do full speed with the brake on. So, whatever. If you can't if you can't transmit, you can't transmit. Big deal. Let's go over to the last site, and we'll uh, get this one done. Yeah, you can see the electric charge going in and out, in and out, but not a big deal. I'm actually going to reset this one. And the final one right here. Wait for it. There we go. Log it. And now we have this contract completely done. Awesome. Whoa. Just getting out of control here. Just a little bit. Um, so now what I'm trying to do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to this grasslands over here because I'm pretty sure I've already got these kind of wrapped up. 
Maybe I should pack an extra battery on this thing for transmissions. It doesn't matter, whatever. Let's go ahead and uh, gonna cancel that one just temporarily. And then I'm going to get this plane over to the grasslands over here, get the information, and then take off and I'll transmit it in the air when I've got my jet on full fuel, full throttle. There we go. Cool. So now we'll full throttle it. Probably helps that I'm going uphill a bit there. There we go. And we're up. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I know it was a really quick little thing there, but um, I guess I probably could. I don't really know how long the video is. Probably could go for the other ones while I'm out. But now that I've got the engine all the way up, probably trade's been a little easier. And I can go towards the other waypoints. So uh, zone BS, JD. Um, let's see where that is on the map. Am I getting close to it already? I can't tell. Where is it? Isn't it much? Oh, there it is. It's over there. Whoa! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. If I didn't have SAS, uh, if I didn't have that stability assist, uh, I would be totally toast right now because I don't have I don't have parachutes anymore. Uh, so probably should quit the mission actually and go get parachutes before flying around. Um, but I like to live a little dangerously. It's fine. By the way, the pilot for today's mission is not Jebediah. It is Valentina. Valentina is right there. She's got a little ponytail in the back. She is our second. Uh, orange suit pilot, if you will, um, the pilots that you start the game with. She's the second. You start with two pilots, one scientist and one engineer. Uh, and each has their own perks, each has their own advantages and disadvantages. Um, and, but Jebediah is like the most iconic, the more iconic um, Kerbal. Okay, so this one we're heading towards right now is where? Is it really far away? BSJD. Okay, it's not that far away. Actually, we can come back. That's the KSC. Uh, so this one is BS or 8SJD. And 8SJD, we need to do what there? We need to take a pressure reading in flight below 1,700 meters. Okay, piece of cake. So once we get there, we'll take the pressure reading. Let's put this pressure mat over here. Pin that there. So once we get there, you know, which is in about 12 kilometers. Isn't that much better flying during the day? Like, look at that. Way better. Look at that water. This is Scatterer at its finest. I think I figured out most of the graphical bugs that were with Scatterer, and I've turned off and tweaked the, tweaked the settings a little bit to make it a little bit... It doesn't do as much effect, but I left the water effects on because it just looks amazing when you do the water. So A lot of the atmospheric effects and the lighting effects and stuff are off now. Um, but the water ones are on, they're just beautiful. So, they look really good. Okay, we're getting close to our destination, I think. Uh, and then I'm going to go to uh, Danton's Landmark, but I'll, I'll just do that off camera, it's not a big deal. Watching me fly around, taking readings and stuff. Although this one I have to land at these three points, and these three points are not that close, but these three points are actually, they're not that close together, but what they really are Oh no, I'm leaving the zone. I missed it already. See, I was talking. See that? All right, so I'm gonna have to just go up a little bit and we're gonna just tilt ourselves back. And we're gonna flip ourselves around, do a nice, a nice little maneuver here, bring ourselves back around. And all right, we're going back towards where we need to go. And we're not gonna miss it this time because I'm not gonna talk over it. There, that's it. So that one's done now. So now I just need to do an EVA report on the surface at Alpha, Beta, and Gamma for this contract. And that's it once we do that. And look at that little icon, just, it's my waypoint icon here. I'd like to delete this waypoint, yes. There we go. Okay, so now I need to do the other one. 
It says there's not enough electric charge because I'm trying to transmit that other seismic data thing, but it's cool. EVA reports are not hard to do. I just had to do them on the surface. So if I was to go to that one, Danton's landmark, it's actually all the way over here. That's why I'm not doing it on camera. Because <laughs> it's just a lot. I mean, it's the other side of the planet. And I need to refuel before I do that, now that, I, now that I'm reminded of that, because I don't have enough fuel to get there and back. And I want to get back to, I want to recover my, recover the vessel and everything, so. I'm going to go and actually land then. Let's do that. Let's land. Whoa. We're going upside down. It's a, it's a cool little trick. Alright, so we are going to work our way down. And I'm going to land and refuel and all that stuff before I go and do that one. It just makes more sense to me. And we'll get that one. A little bit of science there. No big deal. No big deal, man. Just a little bit of science. Okay, so we are lining up our approach. We're getting our approach ready to line up with, anyway. drag going here, just get us slowing down a bit. A little bit of drag. Slow us down a bit. the craft just a little bit up and down just kind of get that that initial like drag that air resistance that drag that goes on the wings when you do that it slows you down a lot so it just we just don't want to come in too shallow though so let's keep the engine up just a little bit don't want to come in too too slowly then you come in too shallow there we go that's better okay and again, of course, we're not going to land on the runway because it's bumpy as hell. Oh, 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 easy. Let's reverse thrust this. Hit the brakes. And touchdown, kind of, almost. Oh. Reverse thrust. There we go. All right. Cool, it's cool stuff. Forward thrust. Yeah, this this engine is really nice because you can reverse the thrust and go the other way, which is kind of weird, I think. But uh, and then you can go forward thrust that way, of course. Okay, cool. So let's recover the craft, and then I'll refuel, make sure all the tanks are full, and then I'll just I'll just go around the planet. My and the flight will take long enough, I think, to where uh, if I time it right, I can arrive at my destination during uh, the day, and then just sort of fly with the sun all the way around the planet to go to KSC. I think. It'll take that long, I think. But we'll see. Uh, okay, so we've got 271,000 credits. Uh, we've got 84 or 86 science. Not quite enough to unlock these 90s. Er, darn it. Because uh, having an orange tank would be great right now, I think, for our excursions to space that we want to do. What I want to do. Um, what's the specific impulse on this? 300, yep. Uh, and then these are like little little tanks, little probe sat, satellite probes, if you will. It's kind of nifty. But. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.